Need a secure place to host your code for free? Well, you're in the right place, homie. Learning how to house your precious code on AWS starts now. Hey VFC fam, it's your boy Joshua Tech Dev Walker, your venti fried chicken author and global cloud slinger. Check out that book in the description on how I went from veteran to at one point homeless to now a tech lead. And subscribe if you're into cloud computing, tech, or creativity. And if you haven't guessed it already, we're gonna be setting up this private repo using the AWS managed service called Code Commit, which is AWS's premier version control service. Once again, it's completely hosted by AWS, so you don't have to worry about you know all the provisioning and all the backend stuff, which is quite fantastic. And your code is stored securely right next to your infrastructure. What's a good neighbor? AWS is there. I'll be using that A Cloud Guru sandbox, so everything I show doesn't matter because by the time this is uploaded, this whole environment will be just for you scammers in EC2 pirates. All right, let's get started. Just to be transparent, I did do some prereqs, but I will put those links in the description. The first prereq I did is I created a user that has the proper permissions to access code commit. If you want a canned policy from AWS, the power user code commit policy should work just fine. Of course, if you're doing this for like work or your own business, then you gotta go by whatever your compliance policy is. If you end up on CNN, do not blame Venti. I have also already set up the AWS CLI, which you can see here if you hit AWS configure. You see everything is already set up. I'm in US East one, cause I'm, you know, in Florida. So that just makes sense. And I am doing the output of table. I just like the way it looks. And last but not least, I did install Git already locally on my machine. Then you'll see, boom, I got Git right there. And maybe it needs to be updated, but hey, we're just doing a little tut right now. Command K since I'm on a Mac to clear that out. So as you guessed it, at first I'm gonna go and create a code repo. So go to the code commit service and create a repository. I'll name this cloud gang repo if I can spell. And normally I would add some description as you know, you're talking to the development team of like what this repo actually represents and blah, 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 whatever project you're on. But this is just a demo. Same thing with tags. You usually use tags for programmatic things as well as labeling stuff. So um, I'm just gonna leave it blank for now, but if you're working on a real project, make sure you hit those two fields. And then voila, it's just easy peasy, lemon squeezy, you know what I mean? As you can see, I will have to do a git clone to pull this from the cloud down to my local desktop. But before we do that, we have to create our SSH credentials so that we can actually take this action by accessing code commit. So with that, I'm gonna go back to home with the AWS console. I'm gonna go to I am. I'm gonna go to users, cloud user, security credentials, and then here, if I can scroll past my face, and I'll maybe I'll move this over just, and then we're gonna generate HTTPS credentials. There's a few other ways you can generate credentials, but I'm gonna just do this uh, as it's one of the easiest ways to access the code repo. And that has downloaded to my local desktop. You can't see it in the corner because my face is blocking everything as normal. So now I'm gonna bring up my terminal. I'm already in the folder that I wanna get into. I'm gonna actually go back to code commit. I'm gonna go to my repo, the cloud gang repo. And we're gonna copy this. And then we're gonna paste here. So we just pulled our empty repo down from the cloud to our local desktop. And now I'm gonna CD into it. Actually, I don't even know what it's called. And so now I want to just create like a dummy file for us to push to make sure everything is working. So I'm just going to do v, vi main.tf. As you see, I create a lot of Terraform files. I'm just going to type a bunch of craziness. I'm going to hit escape. WQ. I oh know my face is kind of blocking it at the bottom left. Just saving the file. I'll write and then quit. And then from there, I'm going to do a git add. So um, everything within this repo um, is, is staged. Um, and then I'm gonna do a git commit message um, so that we commit this. And then I'm gonna just put we cooking boy with a bunch of lies. So a few things created, or I deleted one thing and then created something else as I, I deleted something off screen. I'm just doing some tests. So from there, I'm just gonna do a git push. Let's see what happens. Boom. Looks like we're in good shape here. 
So from there, we'll go back to the console and just to verify on code commit. And you saw last modified just now, so that's a good sign. And then boom, there goes our really intense main.tf that someone could definitely reuse in a production environment, you know? So, um, so with this, hopefully you will commit to using version control. Also, please like this video if you thought it was helpful. We'll be back next week with another video. Sorry for skipping this past Friday. The reason I wanted to start with this as well is because obviously I'm going to be looking to share a lot of code. And if you're really doing stuff in real life, you need to put your infrastructure as code somewhere. And, you know, this is a great base for everything we'll be doing in the future. So subscribe for more cloud tech and creative content. Train, inspire, relate. Cloud.